Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life, and we're continuing on with our coverage today of Motorola's brand new Moto X. So we know some of you are disappointed in the price. You wanted a really, really low priced phone. We also know some of you are disappointed in the specs because they technically don't match up to, you know, the 1080p display and quad core processors that are in the Galaxy S4 and HTC One. But, you know, Motorola still thinks it's on par with those phones. And, you know, I'm not here to tell you whether or not it is yet. Um, we're going to do a full review. We'll dive into all that stuff. We'll hopefully decide for ourselves if it's a phone for us and then hopefully help you decide if it's going to be a phone for you. So far though, loving everything about it. Um, but right now we're going to continue our coverage and show you three features that Motorola is really pushing with the phone. And that is touchless control, active display, and the quick capture camera. So we'll start with the one that's probably my favorite and that's active display. So you can see the strobing here with the clock and the notification symbols. Um, this is active display. So what it does is Motorola will show you notifications on your display rather than through a blinking light, you know, in the top or bottom bezels of the phone. So what they're doing is showing you a clock and then if you have notifications and they show you the icon from those specific applications. Uh, again, my favorite thing by far. So what they're doing is only lighting up this portion of the display. So it's not killing battery. So don't worry about that. Battery life's gonna be just fine with this. Um, but why it's my favorite is, um, say you have your phone laying down on your desk, although I don't necessarily do that. Why I like it is because I have my phone in my pocket all the time. So when you pull the phone out of your pocket, it realizes that. Okay, so what's the first thing you do when you pull your phone out of your pocket? You reach for the lock switch and then you pull down your notification shade to see what kind of notifications you have, right? With active display, you don't have to do either of those. You flip it over or you pull it out of your pocket and it automatically pops up the clock, tells you what time it is, and then shows you if you have notifications. So they've eliminated a couple of steps there. It makes it sort of automatic or I don't want to say thinking for you, but it's like ready to show you the information you want when you want it, if that makes sense. So again, how many times did you pull your phone out of your pocket, immediately reach for the lock switch and the notification pull down? With active display, you don't have to do that. It shows you what time it is and it shows you your notifications. So when the strobe's back on, I'll show you how it works. You touch on the biggest icon in the middle. And then from there, you get a preview of what it's determined to be your most important notifications and sort of a preview up top. So you can see I've got a couple of emails up there. And then down at the bottom, it lists out if you have other notifications. So you can see I've got a Hangout notification as well. Now, if I had you know a calendar reminder or a text message or something else, Facebook message, what have you, it would show up down in that sort of lower list. Um, if you want to go ahead and jump into your top notification, you have, you have an option to just jump up and you can go right into that. Um, if you don't want to do that, you want to just unlock your phone, you can just swipe down and it'll unlock your phone. And then if you just want to sort of wipe away these notifications and have it not show these to you anymore, you can do that as well. I'm just sort of waiting for it to show back up here. Um, you just then swipe to the right and then it goes away and sort of hides the active display. So again, probably my favorite feature right now that I use the most just because I'm constantly looking at emails and messages and checking the time on my phone. And that's, it does it sort of for me without me having to really think about it. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you then is the uh, touchless control. So this is, you've seen this, this is where you say, okay, followed by Google Now, and then it'll sort of activate and do voice actions through Google Now. Um, you obviously have to say those words in order, which I didn't because it's pretty sensitive. Uh, so what you do is um, you, un well, you, essentially you set up touchless control and then it, and you, it asks you to say those three words in a row three different times so it learns your voice. So your, your wife or your best friend or whoever can't just say those three words and have it activate all the time and mess with you, it's supposed to learn your voice. So you can set it up in here, there's a whole section for it. Um, I'm just gonna sort of show you how it works because it actually does work pretty well. And, and the point of it is you can do it whenever with your phone off sitting by itself, you're not touching it, you can talk to your phone and have it do things, you don't have to unlock it. So it's touchless, okay? So we could do an example like, okay, Google Now. Okay, Google Now. Did the Braves win last night? Yes, the Braves beat the Rockies 11 to two. All right, so you can see the first time it didn't catch my sort of startup saying. That's the first time I've seen it not do that, by the way. So we'll just, we'll continue on here. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and lock it again just to keep showing this to you. I can say, okay, Google now, what's the weather like? It's 60 degrees and overcast in Portland. So all of these Google Now notification, or I'm sorry, voice actions still work. You can just do it again without ever having to really touch your phone. So let's see, I could do, uh, 
Okay, Google now. How old is LeBron James? I think we've done this one like every time. LeBron James is 28 years old. Yeah, I think I do that every time for a Google Now demo. But you can see how it works. I, I didn't have to touch my phone at all. And you could continue on going here too. I could say like, okay, Google Now, who is Heidi Klum? According to Wikipedia, Heidi Klum is a German American model, television host, businesswoman, fashion designer, television producer, and an occasional actress. Heidi Klum clearly does a lot. I was not fully expecting that. And anyway, so you can see I, I didn't have to touch my phone. You can just keep asking and asking and asking it from anywhere without touching it. That's touchless control. All right, so then the other thing that is this uh, quick capture camera. So one of the other things Motorola was thinking about is people want to take pictures all the time with their phones, right? And they want to do it quickly. So what they, do, what they did was build in a gesture that you can do to launch the camera. And what they said is less than two seconds. Actually, they said you can launch your camera and take a picture in less than two seconds. I don't know if it's quite that fast, but it's, it's a pretty fast way to do it. So all you do is do a little, a little two wrist shimmy. Let's see if I can get it to actually work on camera. Of course, it's not working. There we go. I probably had to prop it up right. And then it pops in and you can just tap wherever and actually take a picture. So again, that was sort of a poor demo. Um, if you pull your phone out of your pocket and then you do a quick two a little shimmy, uh, see it didn't work again. So uh, like either I don't know how to do this or it's not as awesome as they say. So, and you can sort of hear it vibrate and light up and then you can tap anywhere to, um, to sort of get a picture. Maybe you just have to be a little more forceful with it. So let me try one more time just to make sure we know that we're doing this properly. So I pull out my phone, I wanna take a picture. Quick to, no, see that didn't work either. Let's do it slower. That didn't work. Twist, that worked. So uh, that's gonna take some practice. Uh, you know, you can see how it could be a cool way to take pictures quickly. Um, let me just try it again by pulling my phone up from uh, the desk. So I pick my phone up, there's an awesome thing going on over there, I wanna take a picture. And there it goes. So maybe you just need to be a little more pronounced with it. I haven't had a chance to totally play with this feature all that much. Um, Cause again, I was flying all day yesterday, but so I picked my phone up. All right, so you just have to be more pronounced with it. So apologies, Motorola and whoever was watching that initially, I was doing it too quick. I was just doing a quick thing. You actually kind of need to get some elbow grease in there. So double twist. No, nope, that's, that didn't work. That didn't work. There we go, that one worked. Okay, so it, it's just gonna take some practice. So uh, anyways, that's the quickest way, little quick wrist tap, jump into your camera, tap anywhere and it takes a picture. So those are sort of the three features that Motorola is really gonna be promoting with the device. You're probably gonna see those everywhere. We just wanted to show them all to you in action. Um, again, more Moto X coverage coming. Again, we have the white Verizon version. We'll have a colored version in probably a month or so to show you that as well. So uh, anyways, stick with us. You're gonna to wanna to see this. I, at this point, right, you're all, you're all freaked out about the price and the specs, and so it's sort of taken on this new level of either hatred or love or hate. There's a lot to, there's a lot to talk about with the Moto X, so continue to stick with us. We're gonna be talking about it all. Droid Life, peace.